so thanks everyone uh, for for joining in 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 today uh, uh, and i hope you know everyone of you had a good lunch and uh, uh, so with that uh, let's start with the session awesome thank you rajiv okay so uh, what i understand that it was just lunch and after this i hope no one sleeps in the session and today we are going to learn something really not new but let's do a revision that what what is agile humor or is humor if it required okay what's the agenda well first agenda would be please enjoy the memes that i have actually you know like really uh, tried very hard to find for you for this session and if you like the memes please give me a thumbs up well i sound like a youtuber i guess why we are here today so um i will tell you a small story i was actually um i'm a big fan of uh, stand up comedy and of course the indian one i'm indian like um my origin is indian right now i'm an australian citizen but then um you can never take the indian out of me <laughs> that's what i can say so uh there's a new show uh in uh amazon prime and where like you know celebrities would come up on the stage and they will learn how to do stand up comedy really loved it but when i was actually um watching it what i realized that hey there's so much of similarities in like stand up comedy and agile coaching now i know this might sound bizarre but think about it okay so i will ask you to actually think about that question and the question for this moment is is humor needed for agile coaching now what i also realize because um i think i forgot to introduce myself so who am i uh, i'm soma mazumdar i'm an ind independent agile and kanban coach and trainer um i'm based in sydney australia and uh, if you would like to connect with me that's my details up there so please connect with me i would love to chat with you okay so let's make it a bit more interactive what you can do you can just take your phone and just uh, scan this code and go to slido and when you go to slido could you just put in there what according to you sense of humor is like if you can put in like you know couple of words there maybe so are we ready also give me some kind of cue so that i know that you are also receiving everything i'm trying to convey maybe a, a, a thumbs up would be great yes okay <laughs> okay we have few things coming up which is good okay i love that answer life that's so so good <laughs> let's give everyone a few more minutes relaxing is very i can relate to that motivation love it love yes awesome i think oh human i love that <laughs> that's so cool and thank you thank you everyone let's get back to our thing so yes whatever was there is so relatable now 
what is actually sense of humor? It is a combination of everything that you have said. But at the end, it's actually someone's, you know, uh, ability to perceive emotions and also appreciate it. Now, when we think about it, now, the definition on the screen, if you don't agree with it, please blame Wikipedia because that's the source of it. So don't blame Soma. Now, uh, when we think about sense of humor, what are the benefits? Some of the benefits that I have learned and um, have been able to observe through different what, stand up comedies and everything, or, or the movies that I watch, is that, you know, like everything that I see there, let's take the example of the stand up comedy. Uh, whenever a stand up comedy, uh, like a comedian, comes on stage, one of the first things that I have seen or observed is that they really learn how to fail fast. Uh, because if some of their jokes doesn't work, they actually improvise it on the spot. They learn how to take feedback from their audience. So they would actually look around and see that, okay, if, if the jokes are working or not, if the punchlines are working or not, and if not, they would change it. They would improvise it based on, based on the situation, based on the context, based on the like, you know, context of the room. Um, they build rapport. So when, when you can make someone laugh, that's the best kind of, you know, the ice breaking. That, that was one of the answer in the Slido as well, which is true. Um, also, as a stand-up comedian, if sometimes your show doesn't go well, you learn how to handle rejection, which is amazing. And I would like to uh, take the example of the famous uh, comedian and actor Kapil Sharma. So if we remember the incident, what happened to Kapil Sharma in 2017? Not gonna go into details because I'm sure most of you would know or remember that incident where his career was like, you know, the rock bottom after the incident that happened in Australia, the flight in Australia. Um, but how, what he did, you know, after that, he just bounced back. Like it took some time, but that's, that's how the agile coaching world also work, right? So we do not have a plan. Like, yes, we do plan, but sometimes the plan doesn't work. And what we do is that we always take feedback from the context, from what's changing around us. And based on that, we change our approach. So that's what I would say. Now, when it comes to humor, humor is present in all cultures, but different in each. Uh, I'm sure um, when I try to say things, you know, like, uh, which is very um, specific to Indians, it wouldn't make sense in Australia. So <laughs> once um, in my first workshop in Australia, I, um, I was actually trying to explain. So that was a workshop on EQ. And I was trying to explain the audience that, okay, I would say that I am more like a human Labrador where I do not understand that how much space I should give to others. Because um, growing up, um, I am a Bengali and I have always uh, learned that, you know, like it's, it's okay to care for each other. It's okay to ask those, you know, like normal questions, which seems very normal to us back in India. But here people would mind. Like, for example, um, when I was in India, I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't think twice before asking someone something a bit personal, like, um, hey, are you married or single? But here I would, because sometimes it's not taken in a very positive note because it's like invading someone's privacy. So again, what I'm trying to say here is that uh, humor is very specific to our upbringing, to our culture. And um, so like sometimes whenever we are trying to crack a joke, maybe we need to be more um, aware of our surroundings. Maybe we need to figure out that where we are, based on the context, the joke might work or might not work. And uh, what I've done here is that um, I've just quoted a reference. So the man your man could smell like, 
is like an old spice ad which went um viral like which was a like cultural phenomenon and i cannot understand why maybe that, that's where it is coming from that maybe i do not understand what, like why that was such a big hit in in that time and what is the reason i cannot connect with that so again the link is there if anyone is interested i can definitely forward you the link you can have a look it's like a 1 minute video now when we are talking about like we are talking about humor so much well first i'll i actually just pause and ask if there is any question no yeah, so so man uh, nothing in the chat so far yep but um can i ask um all of you who are here um do you have anything to share on the cultural aspect of humor uh so anjali says it's really important to consider this because uh, you can really offend someone to uh, and turn turn them off so uh, exactly yeah exactly thanks anjali uh yes and uh, i have done that you know like multiple times and talking from my experience so this whole talk is based on my experience and observation what i have faced coming from a different culture to a different culture um and also like going into the world of agile coaching we sometimes think you know agile coaching is not only about processes and framework it's about real people and when it is about real people all these things are very much applicable it is always based on the context you cannot just go and apply a solution to a problem i mean the problem might seem similar but then if the context is different if the background story is different everything changes so again when it comes to humor and agile coaching there are so many similarities like for example if we are talking about the benefits that we have learned about humor the same thing applies to agile coaching because all those benefits helps us to uh, build our relationship with other people with our coachee with our client with customer so it's really really important to understand the context and uh, who who likes to go into a boring meeting you know like where no one talks no one says anything it's just like look at a screen and then get out of there it's it's boring also we don't know if it is productive or not so getting a little bit of humor in your coaching would always be a good idea well i do not have a very good sense of humor but i think sometimes i just make people laugh some somehow i'm not sure how many of you are laughing because i cannot see you all uh, at least i hope you are enjoying the memes so the coaching stance is actually the humor stance and why is that whenever it comes to humor it is always about the eq so uh, as a comedian as a stand up comedian you have to have a really high eq so the eq about your social awareness because when it comes to eq or um emotional intelligence there are four elements to it the first one is self awareness where you should know how you can control your own emotions the second part is self regulation where you should know how you can like what triggers you but then how you can actually manage that emotion um the third one is social awareness which is really important as a comedian but also as a coach because you need to understand who is sitting around you who are your customer your client your coaches so if you don't understand them you won't be able to help them so that's where the social awareness part is coming from empathy connecting with your audience as a comedian and also connecting with your coaches as a comed uh, as a coach is really really important so the coaching stance is actually the humor stance and um, let me know what you think about that this is something totally based on my observation i have come up with so it's not there or like verified by any source 
<sighs> so again, we are getting towards the end of the session. So in order to be a good comedian, a successful one, you have to have a really high EQ. You really need to be observant. You need to be a good listener. And again, in order to become a successful coach, you need to have all these qualities or traits. So in order to be a successfully funny coach, you have to have a very high EQ. And it is not impossible to grow your EQ. So grow it. That's, that's the whole talk is about to find out the similarities between coaching and comedy, comedy and humor, and how maybe we can learn from the other world and apply it in the coaching world and make our coaching stance better. So if I have to ask you one question, uh, is there anything that you are taking away from this talk today and applying it? in your day-to-day -day world. So that would be it. Thank you. So to be honest, now I understand better why my Agile coaches keep on laughing throughout the day. <laughs> <laughs> well, I try to. <laughs> no, but I, I, I do understand, like, uh, you know, Agile coaches, they, they really need to read the room, understand uh, their audience, uh, so as to pivot uh, on the fly and, and ensure they are able to uh, deliver it to uh, to the audience they are catering to. Yeah, I, I think this also quotes the um, fourth um, Agile Manifesto, mm -hmm. responding to change over following a plan, which is, which is my favorite mm -hmm. one. And also the first one, right? Individuals and interactions over processes and tools. So uh, if you think about it, everything that a, stand-up comedian does is actually so, so similar. There's, there's not much difference. We just try to create and put them into boxes, but then there's so much we can learn from each other, the different roles that are there out there. I was just saying, you know, how EQ applies in so many places. And so I love how it was brought in here in terms of our role as agile coaches and, and how somehow you related it to uh, having you know a sense of humor and, and and what a person who's a comedian has to consider and think about and how how similar that is to uh, how we approach our work as coaches i loved it thank you um anjali do you have anything to share about your experience that how important eq is as a coach or like it, it applies to every role actually i shouldn't be saying coach oh <laughs> absolutely. And I think co for coaches, it's absolutely essential. But I think for every one of us, I think that's, you know, often we refer to it as a power skill, because it really supports everything else that we do, right? Like, if we are not aware of ourselves and of our, of our uh, surroundings, our environments, then it's very, very hard for us to be effectful, effectful and impactful. Yeah. So I think I think EQ is like, foundational, um, but a sense of humor, I love that because it can really cut through some very tense situations. Yeah. And when we can laugh at ourselves and, and you know, laugh with other people, it kind of releases, <laughs> releases tension, keeps, you know, creates a safe environment, which is another thing that I think that we, uh, it's so important for us as coaches to be able to create and a sense of humor can can really really uh, make a big difference in that in creating this psychological safety in a space yeah that's that's really a good point which i forgot to mention thank you anjali just prompted oh, you're, that you're welcome. yeah psychological safety is absolutely important and sense of humor can actually help you to get there yeah Thank you so much. All right. Uh, we are at the end of the session now. Uh, so we will be closing the session. Thanks, everyone. And thanks, Noma, for this wonderful session. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>